Hi and welcome everyone to another episode of Gaming with Jason. If you are following my playthrough, I kind of started on this subject so you get to hear a little bit about what I was talking about. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to survive a nuclear attack and how often do they actually happen. So my experience has been that probably about 30% of the games that I play um, whether I win or lose, getting nuked does not mean that you lose. Getting nuked just means that you get crippled. Uh, getting nuked means you better have a good team around you and you better have some good things going on. Luckily, on another server, I got nuked. Like every one of my cities has been nuked uh, twice in two different rounds. And you know, surviving a nuke is is a pain in the butt. So how do you survive a nuke? And there are a couple of ways to, to do it. Um, you could do it uh, if you look at the mobile anti-air. Um, now, if you're looking for an anti-air vehicle, I would recommend that this is your primary anti-air because of the attack and defense against, uh, against infantry and armor as well as helicopters because the mobile SAMs do not give you that. Uh, but the thing is, they make up in giving you this, they take away in this. So you start out with a one, and you will make it up to a max of two on the missile defense. So it'll protect you from cruise missiles. If you are trying to protect your units from cruise missiles, you'll have to have at least three of these with them. Or you will have to max it up to, let's see, you'll probably have to put it up to about at least here. No, we're still at one on the missiles. You're going to have to max it out to have like one or two with it because a a uh, a cruise missile takes about, it takes two hit points. Uh, a ballistic missile, I think it says it takes like three hit points. But an ICBM, you've got to have like 25 to 30 hit points just to be able to take that missile out. That's why the missile defense system is so important. But let's say you don't want to go for a missile defense system. Okay, now you can go for the mobile SAM, but here's the thing, you get the increased here, but you get nothing here. Okay, and so I've been trying to rack my brain and I think I found what I think is going to be my solution. And I'm going to try this out until I get nuked. But these, this is the cheap option. So you get uh, extra morale performance. And what that does is that turns into your resources. Okay, so if you're looking to build your economy, this is going to benefit your economy. Air bases also benefit your economy. You get 5% per level like you do on the barracks. But let's see, garrison takes less damage. Okay, but the thing is, is, is that it does that take to my, my, um, does that go with with my my citizens or does that also protect my buildings? Because if I can protect my buildings from a nuke and I can build this up and get a 73% less damage, the ability to be able to recover and look at what these things cost. Let's look and see what a bunker costs. A bunker, underground bunker, 1,000, 1,000 and 1,250. Um, let's see here. Do I want to, at this point, no, but by the time I get into mid game, I'm probably going to want to start doing it. But I think that this is going to be the option that I go. So you, you may only want to do it in a couple of cities, what you would spend on anti-air and stuff like that. You can put on your cities to protect them from, from the damage done by planes done by people attacking you uh and so on and so forth and you know it's it's a cheaper option than going and buying a five stack that isn't going to do anything it protects your population it protects everything that you have um and you know at least that's what i'm presuming based upon what i read and so if you're going to protect yourself against nukes i think this is probably your best option if you're looking for a cheap way to do it without wasting units, but still protecting yourself, because while I'm building my air units, I could be building up my bunkers because, you know, towards mid to late game, you're going to have a lot of resources anyways. So starting five of these bunkers, you know, and if you want to get quicker, you can also do five of these. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys again in my next playthrough in the morning and see you guys.